When aircraft land during a Red Flag Alaska exercise, there's one thing you can be sure of. It needs refueling. That's where Airman First Class Chavez McLean gets to work delivering the much needed fuel so the Red Flag participants can continue their combat training. It's a lot busier, so we work a lot quicker with the, the other countries that are here. We have to be safer on the flight line, keep our head on a swivel, make sure we're out, out of the aircraft's way. And that's, that's, the, that's the big difference when it comes to Red Flag and regular operation. Once the truck is in place, Airman McLean gathers the hose and carries it into position. This is when the crew chief takes over and hooks the line up to the aircraft. When everything is ready, McLean makes the fuel flow. During normal operations here at Eielson, Airman McLean and the other refueling operators service on average 20 jets per day. But during Red Flag, that number can jump to nearly 200. Although this job demands long days without leaving the flight line, especially during Red Flag Alaska, McLean says there's a certain pride and reward in being able to see your job directly support the mission. So it's not by all means easy, but it's exciting at the same time because we see right when we're done fueling the jets, we, um, we see them take off right on the flight line. So it's rewarding at the same time. After refueling one high flyer, it's off to the next. No matter what kind of aircraft it is or what country it's from, Airman McLean and the other refueling operators are doing their part in keeping the United States and its allies in control of the skies. Reporting from Eielson Air Force Base, Alaska, I'm Airman First Class Jason Trevor.